Hi, uh, I'm Jim with uh, Amy Sewing Quilt and welcome to Make It Monday. Hope everybody can hear okay. And um, usually on Make It Monday, we have quick projects and tips. And today I have a tip for you. Um, came about because I had, we had a lady come in the shop with a similar question I had over the weekend. And that's about how to sew with knits. And uh, of course, my first thought was use a serger, but neither one of them had a serger. They're using their sewing machine. And both of them were having the same problem, which I think I'll take you over to the overhead just to show you what I mean. And here, as you can see on my sample, it's pretty ripply. And what they were both doing was they were stretching the fabric because they were having difficulty with the knit fabric. They're using a t-shirt knit going into the machine. And what happens was is that as they were started to sew, the fabric was actually getting sucked into the throat plate of the sewing machine. So they thought their remedy was to stretch the fabric. And as you can see, uh, the seam is pretty bad and ripply throughout the whole piece. And that's because what happened was is they were stretching the fabric to keep it from getting stuck into the throat plate of the sewing machine. They were stretching it out beyond the uh, way it would be worn or normally seen. And by doing so, you actually add more stitches to the seam. And what basically you're doing is you're causing the seam to stay stretched. And that's why it's looking like that. And again, the reason they were stretching it was because the, the, the fabric was light enough that it was getting sucked into the throat plate. And um, just to show you an example here, I have like a traditional sewing machine throat plate that has like a little oval area and that's where the needle will be penetrating. And it's oval because if you're doing like a zigzag stitch and in both cases they were using an elastic stretch stitch, which has some width to it. So you do need a throw plate that's more of an oval opening. Uh, to prevent basic fabrics like a batiste, let's say if you're an heirloom sewer and the fabric is getting pulled into the throat plate, then you'd want to switch over to a throw plate that has a single hole in the center or on one side if you're doing needle positioning type of sewing. But either way, you would have the ability of sewing on a lightweight fabric without it getting sucked into the throat plate. The only drawback is you can only do a straight stitch. So you can't use like an elastic stretch stitch that again goes off to the side as it's sewing down. You have to rely on your traditional standard one that came with most every machine, which again has the oval opening so that you can do like an elastic stretch stitch. So the way to rectify this problem, as you can see on this sample here, as I sewn it up, it's absolutely smooth and flat, unlike the first sample where it has all these ripples and you can even see where the edge of the fabric is curling over where this one has a smooth edge and a really nice seam. And the way I did this was I took a piece of stick on wash away stabilizer. This is the same type that I would use on my uh, embroidery machine. If I was going to do some embroidery and I needed a little bit more of um, backing on it that I wanted to prevent the fabric from shifting or growing out of shape and it's one side is sticky. The other side basically looks like interfacing. So you would stick this on the back of your fabric like I did in this sample where I have it already applied. It's stuck on. It uh, normally comes in a roll. Oops, there you go. It comes in a roll like this and I just cut a strip that I needed, peeled it off, applied it to the back, then went to my sewing machine, sewed it right up and you can see there is the stitching line in the back of that. Sewed it right up. Sorry about the focus there. There we go. And uh, stitched it right up. Now, depending on the type you use, if you use like a lightweight tear, away, I could just tear it off. Or in this case, I can uh, peel off as much as I can. And then I would, when I laundered the, the garment for the first time, every trace of it will go away. But the nice thing is you can see here that the edges of the fabric are nice and smooth. That seam is really nice and smooth. And even though it was done on a stabilizer, it still will stretch as it normally would. So the fabric will not um, you know, be restricted. So you're less likely chance of having the seams pop because there's all that stretch into the seam already because I use an elastic stretch stitch. 
So hopefully that uh, kind of answers some of your questions on how to work with like a stretch knit that e it'll easily um, go ahead and sew up your sewing machine. And good morning, Lori. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Good afternoon. <laughs> she always keeps me in line. Anyway, uh, I hope you like our tip for today. We hopefully will have more every week for you on Mondays. Amy now is struggling along on her crew. So if you're interested, I believe there's some openings for the ones at the end of the month. So by sure, it means to go ahead and sign up for that. You can check out our website at amysews.com for all the newest cruise information or for the upcoming cruises. Also, all the different classes we have to offer here in the shop. And of course, our store hours and about all the different products and the machines we sell. And more importantly, the classes that uh, our wonderful staff of educators will be happy to go in and uh, teach about all the different types of sewing techniques that we come up with and different ones that are out there too. And also my schedule will be on there also. And I have an additional schedule if you go to sewingexpo.com. I am one of the educators with the original Sewing Quote Expo, so you can check me out there for all the upcoming dates uh, of different cities I'll be in and the different classes I have to offer. And you can feel free to contact us through either site if you have any questions about uh, those classes coming up. So good morning, Janet. So again, I hope you like our tip on how to work with knits. Please be sure to share this video with your friends and make sure they get them on the, the bandwagon with uh, coming to amysews.com and checking us here on our Facebook and on YouTube. And also we have our serger box that we come up with every other month along with our scan and cut box. And the newest one is going out right now. And actually, I'll be working on the newest um, surgery box coming up very shortly. So I hope you like the previous ones we did. And we're doing some more exciting things coming up, too. That being said, thank you also very much for coming to Make It Monday. And I will see you next Monday with maybe a craft project. All right. So take care. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, the more you know, the more you sew.